Hi everyone and welcome to the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen. Sponsored by TSET, I am here with Chef Val with OUTU School of Community Medicine and Dylan is joining us from TSET today. Thank you for being here. Thank it's you. always fun to learn everything from you. So we're into fall. It just kind of reminds me vegetables, all the fun things like that, sure. pumpkins. Mm -hmm. What are we doing today? So we are making a roasted butternut squash salad, but this could be anything. This could be turnips, this could even be potatoes and the green. So we're using a curly kale. This could be romaine. This could be, you know, what spinach, any kind of green that okay. you want. But one thing that we are doing that's a little bit special is a grain. So it's somewhat of a grain salad. This is barley. It's very high in a soluble fiber called beta-glucan. Very good for cholesterol or lipid reduction. Okay. Okay, and then we just have some little accoutrements that we're going to put on it. Some dried cranberries, of course. Again, raisins, dates, whatever you okay. like. Some beans. What do we do with our beans? Drain and rinse the beans for a reduction of about 40% of the sodium. So wow. always you want to do that. That's a huge break in yeah. sodium. And then just a very simple um, vinaigrette. We're using olive oil and balsamic vinegar, okay. a little salt and pepper, some garlic in there, but you could use whatever vinegar you want also. So I'm going to go ahead and start assembling this. Okay. And these are all things for you. Oops. I guess let me back up first. Tell us a little bit about TSET for people that may not know. So TSET is the Tobacco Settlement Endowment Trust. We are here to get Oklahomans to eat more vegetables, mm -hmm. be active, quit tobacco. Uh, one of our great brands here is Shape Your Future okay. with a ton of these type of recipes. And what's great about this is you can bring the kids in, help them True. learn about veggies. As a picky eater growing up myself, right. it's easier for a picky eater most of the time to eat something new like this if they've helped in the kitchen because they know what has gone into this dish. Okay, that's a great idea. And then you're also incorporating some of those learning lessons while they're making it on the fact that you're adding some fiber, you're adding some, you know, you're doing the grains and the vegetables that are all going to be better for you and create the healthy habits. Exactly. From a younger age than maybe trying to change your minds at an older age. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and this is great because you could also do a lot of the prepping ahead of time, make mm -hmm. a great lunch, things like that as well. Yes, absolutely. So go ahead and make those grains, use it as a side dish, make those ro roasted vegetables, use those as a side dish, add a little fish or chicken to the and then you Look have at that color. I, absolutely. I was just thinking, I'm like, okay, this looks amazing. And we kind of talk about that too a little bit, like eating the rainbow is what you had called it, mm -hmm. of just trying to get all those colors and things in there. Now, is this something that I can make the whole thing ahead the night before, or should I assemble it the day of? Ooh, good question. I mean, I think definitely the night before is fine if you want to take this for your lunch. Um, but especially just making all of these individual components, washing your lettuce, having it ready to go, or greens ready to go, um, I think that's very helpful in eating more healthily all week long if you have all these components prepped for you. This just, it looks amazing. It I really would, does. I mean, I'll be nice. I'll give you a fork, but Thank I really you. want to eat it myself. Yes, <laughs> yes. This is my favorite part. All right, let's go. And this one really kind of hits that. Um, if you're craving a little something sweet, you have sweet cranberries, sweet vinaigrette, sweet squash. It's it's very oh filling and satisfying. Mm -hmm. It's so good and the color and everything. Thank you very yes. much. Thank you for being here. If you want to learn more about this recipe or any of the other recipes, go ahead and head to KJRH.com.